so proud. I was once again called a racist. That makes about a hundred times. I'm not proud of being called a racist. I'm proud of being called a racist. And allow me to explain. You see, the first time I was ever deemed so, I was honestly surprised. Years ago, I stated that two-parent households yield significantly better results than single-parent households do regarding the children that they produce. Racist, they called me. Racist. And I was so surprised because I don't even remember including race in the conversation, but that was the prevailing logic of this individual that has gripped more and more of society, stating that America is the land of freedom and opportunity versus the other countries. And I've been to 60 other countries and I've lived in seven of them, so I have a little bit of grounds to speak on it. That earned me a white supremacist reference as well as somebody who despises black people. Yeah, okay. Well, we're progressing and such, and the accusations of racism came more and more rapidly from not immediately jumping on the cops with Ahmaud Arbery or defending them when Jacob Blake had a knife and stating that Kyle Rittenhouse did nothing wrong when he shot three white people suddenly made me anti-black because they were at a BLM movement. So I got used to being called a racist. And now, every time that it happens, I just nod and I say, yes, yes, go ahead, because it's a totally meaningless statement. And I would meet somebody who's truly racist, somebody who's a KKK member, somebody who thinks that blacks should live separately from whites. And I would say, oh, you got called a racist too. Ah, uh, what was your crime? And he'd tell me, and I'd think about it, I'm like, well, maybe that's a little bit racist and all, but, you know, we're all called racist, so welcome to the club, because that's what you're doing. You are trying to separate your crazy beliefs that want colorblindness to be something that Martin Luther King preached and tried to instill in our society, you want to end that and create more racism. So you call everybody racist. So automatically, KKK members are the same thing as me. When it becomes game theoretically correct to assume that based on woke ideology, trying to separate us based on skin color, that people are going to behave in a certain way because of the color of their skin, because they are deemed non-participatory in the movement, in that skin color, as Ayanna Presley stated. You are not prepared to come to that table and to represent that voice, don't come. Because we don't need any more brown faces that don't want to be a brown voice. We don't need black faces that don't want to be a black voice. We don't need Muslims that don't want to be a Muslim voice. We don't need queers that don't want to be a queer voice. And if you're worried about being marginalized and stereotyped, please don't even show up. Because we need you to represent that voice. Then it becomes wise to start judging people on skin color. And I'm not advocating for that. I'm just stating a game theoretical fact and reality that you are trying to manifest and push forward. But regardless, every single day that I'm called a racist, I just nod my head because I know that I'm pushing buttons, because I know that I'm fighting the fight and that I'm pushing back against this woke ideology that wants to enslave us all to their ideas, that want a more perfect union of acceptance of their dogma that they try to instill and enforce on us by threatening to fight, get us fired from our jobs, to boycott our businesses. The same thing that they're doing to Elon Musk right now because he's in support of free speech. Imagine that. Free speech used to be a left-wing value and it used to be the people on the right that would complain, you know, using religious dogma about swear words, about this, and about that. And regardless of whether or not you think Two Live Crew was profanity and is protected under the First Amendment. And the right used to be attacking them. And now the left wants to call anybody that disagrees with them racist, misogynist, anti-trans bigots. Whatever words that they choose, whatever epithets they throw at you, I'm perfectly okay with because they have become meaningless. And I hope that all of you will subscribe to that theory. The next time that somebody says you're a racist or you 
fear that they're going to say it. Just know that that word is completely hollow. It is a bullet without any gunpowder. It is a blank. And unless you're Alec Baldwin, fantastic actor, better shot, it will really have no effect on you unless you allow it to. So don't worry about being called racist or misogynist or whatever term they choose to throw at me today. Take it as a badge of honor that you're standing up to the woke ideology and just say yada, 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 keep on talking.